there are four sections to consider while sending a http request these are url headers method and body the url field has autocomplete feature if you previously entered an api request you will find a drop down list while typing your new request You can directly add edit any parameter of your URL from this field or press this parameter button. It will open a key value editor which auto populates parameter from the URL. It's very easy to manage URL parameters in this editor. For example, let's enter category as the key. and natural pictures as value check your api documentation to see what parameters are available make sure the value doesn't have any space or any unsupported special characters if there is any select the value right click and choose encode uri component the app will encode it to supported characters if you want you can rearrange the parameters by dragging this handler you can also remove any parameter if you don't need next section you will need while sending request is headers it also has the key value editor you can find all commonly used headers while typing here The value field suggests different content types. Let's select application JSON. If you are using Postman Chrome extension, like this one I opened here, you will not find all headers. Those are restricted by Chrome and XML HTTP request specification. Among these are content length, cookie, date, keep alive, user agent, etc. If you want to look at, I have added a PDF file in the resource section of this lecture, which lists all restricted headers. There are two ways to use these restricted headers in your request. First one is install Postman Inspector extension from Chrome Web App Store. After it is installed, go back to Postman Chrome extension, click this icon and turn on inspector second method is to use native mac or windows version of postman app just like this one i chose dark theme in the native app here you do not need to install inspector if you have frequently used headers you can group them together into presets and quickly add into your request from this preset manager click add let's create a preset for json header Now select the preset. It will update the header automatically. Next important section here is methods. Click this drop down menu and you will find most commonly used methods. Select the appropriate method for the request. If you are not sure which method to select, check your API documentation for details. I have Google Calendar API open here. I want to test calendar list request. According to this specification, I need to select request using get method. When I am inserting a new entry, I will need to use post method. Body section is disabled when get method is selected. 
let's change it to post there are four different ways you can enter data first one is form data which is almost the same key value editor we saw for parameters in addition here you can either select a text file as value or upload a file from your computer if you select url encoded postman will encode the key and value on the fly when you send the request third body type is raw here you can enter text in any format you want postman app will not modify it you can select content type from the drop down menu which will update corresponding headers see it changed to json finally if you select binary you can upload and send various types of files like image, audio, video or even text files. 